Hello, welcome, my name is Abe. Wait, um, has, what is my intro? I forgot my intro. Hello, my name is Abe, welcome back to Exit the Gungeon. There, I figured it out. Um, let's play as the robot. Why? Uh, cause why not? I kind of, at this point, have no recollection of what we did last. I have no idea what we need in this game. I think we have every single item unlocked. That does indeed be the case. I have the Shella Boy unlocked. And um, all the achievements except for one, which is do the hole in one on the golf game and then get all the hats. So I guess we're just gonna play Gungeon. We're gonna look for the golf game and try to hole in one it. And at that point, we might just be done with Exit the Gungeon. 100% Platinum God, etc., etc. Um, all I need is just to figure out what the last, you know, couple of achievements are. Or, I should say, I, I should say how to get the last couple of items, which is just the hat. I don't, I don't know how to get the hat. I'm assuming it's locked behind acing the game. I say that because I actually don't remember if I got a, uh, a hat by acing the, uh, the Winchester game? It just kind of happened. I kind of accidentally aced some of the Winchester games and I never paid attention to, to what we got out of them. I don't even think I had the Hat Man unlocked at that point when I did that, so... Really, we, we could have gotten a hat by acing it and I would have no idea. Does it fire like triple shot when it reloads? It fires like a weird triple shot at the end. I had no idea. Who treads upon my... Oh, hello, welcome, Mr. Robot Man. Bouncing bullets? <sighs> Low tier. Chari Master Mode Graveyard is gonna be scary. That's... That's that's one problem. Everyone keeps dying all over the all the time <laughs> in Terraria. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It'll be fun. I'm excited to try a master mode uh, with chat. I like Terraria. Terraria's a fun game to just kind of play. I like building. I really do. Like if if I have nothing to do with my time and I really should be doing like some editing or something, I'll just I'll open up Terraria and I'll go over to the ocean and build. I think the, the fact that Terraria now has those pylon requirements for NPCs, it's good for me because it gives me an excuse to build. I, I'm being productive! That's what's going on. I'm just making everything nice for the NPCs to live in so we can get those pylons. You must construct additional pylons. Oh, I kind of blanked for a minute there and I don't know why. <laughs> I guess the amps just occasionally fire bullets, but very occasionally? Weird. Hold on. Down Hades is talking about me and chat at the same time, and uh, I'm in the middle of the boss fight, so I can't read this message. He's probably complaining that I don't read chat. This is not the gun I wanted for the situation, but I'll deal with it. That one will hit at least. Come over here. Thank you. At least the Molotov is a little bit of damage. I gotta do that. Without having the ability to jump, some of these dodges are a lot trickier. I'm honestly kind of surprised that I was able to get the Flawless. It's very tricky. We died like 10 times in the graveyard when Abe was in his boss. All right, in uh, in the expert run that we did. <laughs> Dude, you know what? I don't care. If we have to, if we have a scary graveyard, we got a scary graveyard in Terraria. We'll figure it out. Cyber Gecko says, I would love to join, but Saturdays are always full. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish you could be there, but at some point, you just got to pick a day, you know? And really, I'm picking Saturday because that was when uh, Terraria was released anyway, so it makes sense. Is the stream app done after this? 
Maybe I gotta do some computer upgrading. I've been talking about it. Now we just actually have to go do it. I would like to pick that up for the blank effect. It, I, I'm, it's gonna be a while until I can pick it up, I think. Yeah, like a Saturday substream. Something like that. Hey, man. I uh, wish I didn't get hit when I got hit on the last elevator. I kind of forgot what hit me. Was it on this elevator or the last one? I, I forget. Not bad toaster. You dick. I'll take a slower enemy bullets though. Kind of does hurt us slightly in certain situations, but you know what? It's an item. It's a free item. It's not in the item pool anymore. We haven't been able for uh, not getting shops is nice because now we uh, are not spending money for items. And we still have all of our cash. Cash for gold, cash for items, I'll take it. Man, Ruben I Mark II is so good. Hey, it's Mousetrap. Hello, welcome, and thank you for the Twitch Prime for 11 months. Can I get a yee yee? You mean a caca? I can give you a caca, I can't give you a yee yee. You mean like yee? Something like that? I can do that. I can give you a caca. I don't know about a yee yee though. <clears throat> that doesn't count as a blank. I would have thought that picking up a consumable like that would give us a blank. I guess not. Cyber Gecko says, I really want in this game. Exit the gungeon, go freaking buy it, man. It's it's relatively cheap and it's a pretty fun game. Nice little action platformer. You get the flavor of gungeon with fewer items. Which may or may not be a good thing, depending on your particular outlook. Thanks for an easy pattern here, actually. Stupid jumps, but you know what? It did work. Also, I would like Scattershot, please. Oh, there was one next to me. I couldn't see him. Hello, laser beams. Thank you. Thank you. What upgrades are you making to your computer? I am making CPU motherboard memory. An upgrade a decade in the making. It's gonna be good. I'm looking forward to it. No, thank you. I don't want any of these items. What is the easiest boss in the game? Says Tarek Animation. The easiest boss in Exit the Gungeon is the one that's the, the Buffamo. I think he's a Buffamo. He is the easiest boss by far. I, I feel bad when I get hit on him, and I do not get hit on him often. But he is he is easily the be the easiest boss in the game. Easily. Easily. As for hardest, I don't know. I just know he's the easiest. He's the one you want to see whenever you get the opportunity. Well, that's an explosion. Because the gungeon costs money. Yeah. Unfortunately, you gotta pay the developers. If it was free, I would heartily recommend it. But then if it was free, maybe it would have some uh, unfortunate microtransactional uh, nonsense attached to it. And then maybe it wouldn't, wouldn't be as good. Dude, you gotta you gotta die at some point. Luckily I got bees. These will kill ya. Thank you. Banana jam! It's so good. It is a mobile game. Not having microtransactions is kind of weird. Except it's not... I guess it is kind of a mobile game. 
it, that's kind of the whole point of the uh, the Apple Store uh, deal they made with it with uh, the developers, though, right? Make a make a game for our platform. It's kind of like for mobile games, but it's it's games without microtransactions and other kind of annoying things that uh, people don't like about lots of different mobile games. It's weird. It's weird, but you know what? I don't mind a little bit of Exit the Gungeon, it's fun. Oh god. We good? We good. Who are we fighting? Bolt Python, like usual. Please change. It's the slowest gun in the West. Oh, I hate it. I see it, I can't get to it, okay? You turn on a dime for a snake. I kind of hate you. Oh, we've done it. <laughs> Whoo! Close one. Hey, there's my double vision. Is it a chance you will play Dead Cells? I'm tired of Dead Cells. That's probably the game that I get asked the most to play. But I played a lot of, uh, a lot of Dead Cells. All of it's up on YouTube if you wanna watch it. I do think that's probably the game I get asked to play the most. And I know that it, oh, has had recent updates and whatnot. But still. I'm I'm deaded out. <laughs> Good. <laughs> hey Abel, we play Salt and Sanctuary. It's a really fun game. <laughs> I still feel bad about you know being gifted that game and then not enjoying it. Which is part of. I mean, that's the thing. It's part of the problem. If anyone does gift you a game, there's a, a small obligation to play it. But if you don't, I don't like it. I don't want to play it. I can't play it. Or I don't want to play it. I've been gifted a, a, several games I haven't even, even looked at. I haven't even started. One day we'll have to play through some of those. But whatever. I don't feel too bad. It's gonna happen. People know the risks. Gifts have no obligation. The problem is, not everyone uh, would necessarily agree with that. Not everyone would necessarily understand that. Maybe someone at one point, no one's done this. No one has done this before. But maybe someone at some point would give, give me a game and be like, hey, I give you this game, you haven't played it yet. When are you gonna play this game? I give it to you, you gotta play it. That's how it works. Disposable account says, Found Hades, I think he added, sorry I didn't like Salt and Sanctuary after your name in the YouTube credits. I, uh, there's no hidden notes in the YouTube credits right now. Well, I mean, there's still probably videos that are uploaded that are, that have them in there, but I took some of them out. But I, I may have added it to Milk Jug's name because she's the one who gifted me the game. I'm still sad I, I didn't like it, but you know what? That's okay. That was an easy room. Thank you, makeshift cannon. What's that police doing? Is he just chilling? He's shooting unarmed bullets. These bullets are armed, they're holding guns. It'd be like if a person had, left side. It's like, it would be like if a person had a, uh, a weapon that fired babies. Because these are bullets holding guns that shoot bullets, right? Oh! You came right to me. 
Gotcha. Oh no, it's Tetris! Get out of here. Get down to where you belong. Dude, do we have um, scattershot ink or... Oh, it's not homing, it's angry bullets. I thought we had scattershot homing and I would have been like, dude, we just had the synergy and enter the gungeon. Now we get an exit the gungeon, that's fantastic. Seven leaf clover, can't afford it. Leave it. What'd you not like about it? What'd you like about it? About uh, Salt and Sanctuary? It just felt very, like, unoriginal. If I wanted to play Salt and Sanctuary, I should just go play freaking uh, Dead Cells, because it's basically the same game. The controls are wonky. The physics of the uh, of the combat is uh, awkward and annoying, inconsistent. It's it has way too many platforming elements, and ultimately, it just I just found it not that interesting. What is the gun that is great but is hard to use? Casey? <laughs> I may have literally said that a gun was hard to use. I already forgot what it was. If that's the case. Which is honestly fully expected. I will forget my own birthday. Oh, it's a black chest. Clum? Let's go! <laughs> And you thought this was going to be a short run. No, no, no. We're doing this run again. We're starting from the beginning. We are going to get our dang golf game done. Riggs says bound 80s. Hey, you know what? We didn't have a, uh, a clone in our Enter the Gungeon run. He was waiting for us and exit the gungeon. What is going on with this guy? Did you see what happened? Like a hundred bullets went after that uh, that enemy. I'm actually a little confused as to what the hell that was. Since you liked Subnautica, is there a chance you'll check out No Man's Sky? Game has gotten really good. Uh, Probably not, and the reason is Subnautica at least has like more more direction. I like games that are kind of open world and allow the player to do whatever they want, but I also like games that have a certain sense of progression. That's why I prefer Terraria over Minecraft, because Terraria has a certain sense of progression. You gotta go here, get this ore, fight this boss. There's always something you could be working towards. Now, I haven't played No Man's Sky, so I don't know if it's necessarily super open-worldy or if there is a, a decent sense of progression in it, but I also dislike games like No Man's Sky that their entire... Oh, look at the beams! Their entire shtick is, we have infinite variability! By the way, there's five enemy parts and they're just cycled around in, in like a million different permutations. Like, that's, that's, fu that's fun, that's fine. But it's also not a lot of... It's not a lot of variability. Everything just looks the same. It's why I dislike Starbound, because, yeah, there's a million planets, but they all have the same four enemies on them. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole universe to explore. This universe has enemies that burrow in the ground and attack you with poison. This planet has enemies in the ground that attack you with fire. It's like, yeah, sure, it's infinite variability, but is that a good kind of variability? I don't know. That, uh, what I will say is that makes me not want to play it, and as a result, I haven't played it. Whether or not it would be a good game for me. That's what we'll say. I missed out on uh, Wibblywood. <laughs> Anyways, we looped. What about Green Hell? What the hell's Green Hell? Survival Forest with a small story. I've never heard of it. I heard of The Forest. I've heard of the forest. Find your kid! He's with cannibals.
Yeah, you're dead. That that blue turtle shell is still bouncing around. You see that? I love it. Look at these pink elephants. <laughs> Imagine getting another clone. I don't, I don't know if you can get two clones in a run like this. Like now that we've looped, can we get another clone? But I, oh, I would get another clone in a heartbeat. In a freaking heartbeat. No Man's Sky actually has three main storylines and a bunch of things to do like a mech or underwater bases or a spaceship that's actually a living being. I mean, that's the thing. It sounds like they've added in a lot of content since launch. But you know, how, how about this? I'll play the game when it comes out of early access. There we go. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh. Might as well shoot it. It's gonna change. I love my uh, my beholster babies. They're sticking around a long time, and, and they're still hidden. Abyssal tentacle. Isn't it already out of early access? That's the joke. The joke is, on release, No Man's Sky was met with, uh, with just absolutely horrible reviews. And a general consensus that a lot of features that were promised were never delivered. So, uh, the joke is it's still in early access, even, you know, X years after release. this guy in a while. This guy's a fun boss. You just gotta figure out when your dodges are supposed to happen. When your jumps, rather. Because you don't want to dodge roll against this guy too much. You want to jump. I want to... I do remember that lol says Twin Breaker. What about Scourge Bringer? Um, that's a game that's on my radar. I need to look at it still. I need to get a key for it. There's a lot of games like that where I might be interested in them. I just need to get a key for them, like um, Monster Train. I need to see if I can get a key for that game. As someone who plays and likes a lot of roguelikes and uh, various deck builders, I want to give it a shot. Bees! There's a lot of bees. Bananas! Bananas, bananas, bananas with the jam hands. Bananas, bananas, bananas. Just look at this wall of death. This is why I like Exit the Gungeon, because you get this combo like every six runs. Sometimes less than that. Which is a good thing. Alright, he died. Oh, I... Blunderbuss with a 17 combo? What? I refuse to believe that. It's actually got multiplayer. Yeah, now. <laughs> There's Pac-Man in the background. I see you. I see you, man Pac. Oh my lord. Thank you, Serious Cannon. These Serious Cannon shots are gonna do a lot of work. Internet Historian did a great video about No Man's Sky. I haven't heard a lot of the game's development since, you know, it was originally released and it originally meant with uh, mediocre reviews. I hope the game is doing well. Cannon Balrog Dickman. There I go my Serious Cannon shots. Oh. 
I cannot see anything. What? I can't, I can't see anything. There's too many bullets, there's too many bullets in the screen. Game. Ah, oh, I can't see anything! <laughs> He's got bees, so many bees around him, what the hell? It's just a nightmare. Rip bitrate. <laughs> what is happening? Holy crap. <laughs> Oh yeah, we fire even faster now. This is, this is exactly what I want. <laughs> oh my lord. Do you play Isaac? I'm, I'm waiting for the DLC to go back to Isaac. It was teased for so long. And now there's been like no news for so long. It's like, come on, just give us the update already. There are people out here who want to play your game, uh, Edmund McMillan. Oh my god, the amount of bullets we're firing is just ridiculous when we get crown of guns. I, I can't see anything anymore. Really, they just need, they need to make it so that enemies appear on top of your bullets. Even though my bullets are transparent, a lot of times my bullets are over the top of enemies and I, I can't see what's going on. There's too many things. Please, game, help me. The army is too strong. <laughs> Not the bees! I, I can't see anything. I like that I was able to, to levitate that blo uh, that blobulon by shooting at him with the, the with the mutation. <laughs> Give him infinite health. I want to make him go flying. You know what? Hold up. There's one thing I've never done in this game. Maybe that's how you unlock the hat. You know what that is? I've never broken a chest. What if that's the the achievement I need in order to get the last hat. Maybe I gotta break a chest and just shoot it, shoot it, shoot it until it blows up. I'm gonna have to do that now. The next chest we get, it's it's getting destroyed. I don't care if it's black. We already got the clone. Something's gotta get destroyed here. For science! Combo. What did I take damage and lose my combo? Oh right, Cannon Balrog, last boss we fought. Game cheated me. This is gonna be tricky. What the hell? What? I got hit because I can't see anything. Are you seeing this? I got hit again. The sharks, the sharks don't go away, by the way. Rip bitrate, okay? Rip my brain? <laughs> what the ever-loving hell is going on? What's there to say? What's there to say? It's... It's impossible to see what's going on. With flak bullets, scatter shot, and these angry bullet bouncing bullet sharks, it's a, it's a goddamn Sharknado is what it is. It's very easy to title this episode now. It's the Sharknado. What is happening? Oh my god. It's like a weird star shape. It's still going too.
It's more like a bullet NATO. Good Christ. <laughs> I love these weird, you know, game breaking synergies and all in enter and exit the gungeon. I'll take him neither. We got angry bullets. We got wood beam that wiggles. Oh, I really wanted Luxon Cannon for longer. That looked real pretty. Just give me the prettiest guns you can game, please. So this should give us a chest, and we're gonna break it. We're gonna break it so we can maybe get uh, an unlock. I have zero idea if this is what you need to do, but you know what? It's something I have not done, so it's something I'm going to do. That's my opinion on the matter. It's a good quality chest, but you know what? Let me get up here. We got explosive rounds. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Apparently, if you break a chest, you'll still get the item out of it. At least we now know. And maybe that was what we needed to do in order to get a, a hat or an achievement. I don't know. What the hell? It's like every gun is just ridiculous with the bounces. I have no idea what's going on. What have I done? What have I done? Like, what's, what's absurdly crazy is I don't even have to move anymore. Like, on these rooms, normally I'd be bouncing around trying to not get hit by bullets or the spike traps. Now it's like, I don't care, I'm just gonna stand still. I hope I can see your bullets. Uh, I can kind of see your bullets. going on it's like angry bullets is making like sharks plus the uh, the genies just hit oh, like infinitely <laughs> what the hell game this is the this is the weirdest run I've ever had of this game by the way I have no idea what the hell's going on I don't know why my uh, my bullets are multicolored now when they bounce but I love it like some of them are, are orange, some of them are blue, some of them are are purple. It's a freaking kaleidoscope of horror. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Ava has become chaos god. <laughs> Apparently, the freaking god of colors here, and just lagging the game with uh, genies and sharks. It, it's like any any bullet that can summon something is is uh, it's it's affecting multiple times. Like the the shotgun rounds here because they spawn their own explosive shots when they hit. It's just like it's getting exponentially. more explosives being created. I don't know, I... It's freaking weird. Kaleidoscope of Horror is a good band name, says Disposable Account. <laughs> it's a good name! It's like every shot, every impact with a wall with bouncing bullets creates a splack shot, so... Every impact with an enemy creates a flak shot. The shots bounce around. Why is that guy, like, weirdly colored? It's so effed up. I love it. This is ridiculous. Gumdrop says, I haven't seen much Exit the Gungeon, so I'm a little confused. Dude, I'm a little confused. <laughs> it's freaking... It's weird. It's weird, but I like it. And I'm very glad for this run. I'm glad it exists. I'm glad we had it here in our, uh, in our clone. Thank you, Gungeon, for the great runs today in general. 
I'm just waiting for my cannon shots to show up. Oh. I thought maybe they'd still be bouncing around. I thought I remember that happening once. Maybe not. Dude, you can actually see the projectile. It's a little a little yellow dot being shot through the uh, the mine cutter. Yari launcher. Okay. No! Did I get hit there? No, I picked up an item. The Yari launcher shots, they're still going! Oh, the bananas. Oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna get bananaed to death. Look in your heart, you know it to be true. More Yari launcher! I threw the gun at him! <laughs> Look at all the flag shots! It's angry bullets with like a weird home, like effect on homing bullets or something. I don't know. I love it though. This game is so fucked up. <laughs> oh, that was a fun run. I fell off the level. I wonder if that counts as a... Uh... No, you know what? We still got the flawless. No, you know, I had the, uh, I had, um, protection from fall damage, I think. Maybe. I'll have to re-watch the, the footage here. I'm, I'm, I'm just holding right because I know that I have to go to the spaceship to leave, so I'm just, like, trying to do it as quickly as possible because the exit does take a little while here. I know we're exiting the gungeon, but can we exit a little faster, please? Still, good run, weird run, fun run. Clone run. For the second time in a row, we had the clone on our last Exit the Gungeon run, too. <laughs> we still did not find the golf game, though, even though we did loop. Look, we'll find the golf game one day and finish our objective there. But until that happens, you know, it is what it is. We might just have to keep playing more Gungeon. It depends. In any case, a great run, and for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Exit the Gungeon. Pew, 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 pew. That's right, you shoot that menu screen. <laughs>